It's Madden. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here come the Bengals, and CD, of course, it's Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. Quickly to the air is Burrow. That's complete to the tight end sample. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Burrow on play action. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Here's second and ten. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here is third down and four. Here's Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Burrow will throw. Working the middle here. That's complete to sample the tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Nowadays... This has become routine, hasn't it? That was a heck of a route there by the tight end. A great double move for a big-time catch downfield. First down, here's Burrow. This one hauled in by Sample. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Now Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. 
touchdown run. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior, too, because that drive took up all the first quarter before it was spilled into the second, and finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here come the Seahawks and their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. On first down, Smith. Well, the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, it's Smith. Short throw to Dislin. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second and seven. Geno out of throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half. But here toward the end, they're trying to change that one fell swoop. But that winds up incomplete. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to pump this one away. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. Taken in at the 11. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll also wind up being the final play of this first half. Well, you can't skip halftime on Sundays, but you can right here. So it's over, and on to the third quarter we march. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter.
Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow is still continuing to fall as we are back underway. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Seahawks offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Play action. It's Smith. That's complete to Disney, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now Smith. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. It's now second and six at the 38 yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Here's first and ten. Smith to throw. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second down. Smith's going to throw it. He'll find Metcalf. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? Plenty of time left plus all three timeouts. Here's first and ten. Completes it to Fant on the right side. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They come up now on second and two. Smith. And he's got it. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here 
Packers first and goal. Here's Smith. He completes this to Walker. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now Smith. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. They're going to try and run for it, and he will not get into the end zone. The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try, and they might just get out of here with a win after all. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camera on this one. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory should be the final act of this one. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about <laughs> how many, many coaches we talked to. They all said the same. All I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.